What's going on guys, Jerry Neutron here back with a brand new video and this is part three of my personal rig upgrade. So if you guys haven't been following along with that, uh, a while back I have actually uh, decided to upgrade my personal rig. I started with the budget system and now I've kind of gone to this uh, sort of high-end-ish Z97 build so I've been documenting it along the way. Um, you guys can check out the other two videos where I go over the part selection and then the actual build itself. I'll leave a link in the description down below for you guys to uh, go ahead and check that out. But uh, today is benchmark day, so we're going to give you guys uh, something to gauge the performance of my system on. Uh, right now I'm running my 4790K at 4.6 gigahertz and my R9290X Lightning at uh, 1125 megahertz on the core clock and 1580 megahertz on the memory clock. Now that is clocked higher than a stock 390X, so I should be getting pretty good performance from this card. Now just to go over the uh, temps real quick, I am hitting uh, 70 degrees on the 4790K under load and 83 degrees on the 290X. Now that is a little bit warm, but it was warm outside when I was doing these benchmarks. It was over 90 degrees. So once the temps go down outside, uh, it should go down a little bit in the rig as well. But anyway, I ran quite a few benchmarks, so let's go ahead and get into them so you guys can see exactly how the system performs. All right guys, and that's pretty much it as far as the benchmarks go. And uh, I think the system's not bad. I mean, there's always room for improvement, but I'm pretty satisfied with what I've put together here. So I do have a list of uh, kind of improvements or future upgrades that I do want to make to this system. So I just wanted to go ahead and uh, share those with you guys here quickly. So let's take a look. So the first thing that I want to do is well, it's maybe not the first thing, but one of the things I want to do is upgrade my graphics card. Uh, obviously, a 290X is uh, just fine, especially for 1080p gaming, but I may want to step up to 1440p in the future. Maybe 4K, so getting a nice newer uh, DX12 card would definitely be something that uh, I want to do in the future. Maybe like a 980 and above, so uh, 980 Fury, 980 Ti. Uh, anything like that, I definitely would uh, love to throw in this rig. Also, uh, storage. Now, in the best case scenario, I want to upgrade to an SSD only system. Uh, and the reason why mainly is just to keep uh, noise down. Uh, as hard drives are always, you know, you have the vibration and it just adds a little bit of extra noise to your system. So I'd love to get rid of that if I can. So uh, all SSD system there. Um, Probably in the immediate future though, I do need a new hard drive, like a four terabyte hard drive or something like that. All these games and these video project files are adding up and it's just killing my drive space right now. So, or maybe I could upgrade to uh, an all SSD system and then build a separate NAS. That would probably be the uh, best, best case scenario. So I'd like to go there with it. Um, anything else? Oh, a case. I still do want an all black case. So I may upgrade to a mid-tower uh, full ATX black case. That's one of the things that uh, I do want to upgrade to eventually as well. And uh, is there anything else? I mean, I could go X99 someday or whatever the Skylake equivalent's gonna be, but I'm pretty satisfied uh, everywhere else. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, get rid of that paper. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this has been my personal rig upgrade. Thank you guys for uh, checking it out. Special thanks to you if you watched all three videos. Uh, if you like content like this, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I will be definitely coming out with more uh, PC related stuff, uh, more mobile stuff, really just anything tech related. So uh, if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe down below. 
And uh, that's about it. Until next time, see ya. It's got pretty good viewing angles, uh, accurate colors. Probably not the most visually appealing display on a flagship device at the moment.